our brain is a fascinating organ. Despite all its intricate wiring, the brain is extremely adaptable. Neuroplasticity, the ability of the brain to modify connections, provides it with the tools it needs to recover to some extent, even from great damage. Let's take a look at a case from a 44-year-old civil service worker which is described in a report published in 2007. This patient, a 44-year-old married father of two children, came to the hospital complaining that he had left leg weakness. This issue was not new for him as he had had problems with his legs in the past as well. When looking at his clinical files, it was revealed that he was born with hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is a condition in which the cavities of the brain, called ventricles, are enlarged. These ventricles contain fluids called the cerebrospinal fluid, which also covers the outer part of the brain to protect it from impact. However, too much fluid in the ventricles causes a lot of pressure and deformation of the brain tissue. In this patient, hydrocephalus was treated at an early stage. A shunt was placed in the brain when he was two weeks old to move some of the fluid and to decrease pressure. He grew up normally until he for the first time felt the weakness of the left leg at an age of 14. At that stage, it was concluded that his shunt needed to be revised and he received another operation. In the 30 years since this, he has lived a normal life. He had normal social abilities and although his IQ is below average, it was within the normal range. At age 44, his leg problems returned. Given his history, a CT and MRI scan was made and the results were shocking. His third and fourth ventricles were massive, with only a small sheet of cortex around it. On top of that, a cyst was found at his brainstem. Although a cyst is benign, it caused additional pressure to the brainstem. The patient received two operations where more fluid was drained and another shunt was placed. Afterwards, the patient recovered and lived his life as before. This is an extraordinary case of our brain's ability to adapt despite a massive loss of cells. Indeed, Various studies have shown that even after brain lesions induced by trauma, stroke, or others, patients can regain full function. This is possible due to neuroplasticity, which is the ability of the brain to constantly change and strengthen brain connections. As such, after a lesion, remaining connections can become stronger and take over the function that has temporarily been lost. Particularly, the formation of connections and neuroplasticity is crucial in newborns with hydrocephalus. In the first two years of age, the majority of connections are formed in the brain and neuroplasticity is at its absolute peak. This means that the development of the brain can overcome even large deformations at birth such as hydrocephalus. Therefore, Many children who suffered hydrocephalus can live a normal life with no impairments if treated early. And that is the crucial point. Very early on, a decision needs to be made whether a shunt to draw fluid is necessary or if it would do more harm than good. The sooner this decision is made, the more time is left for the brain to recover from its congenital deformation. Although hydrocephalus can be overcome, this case is still remarkable given the sheer extent of the deformity with a very minor impact on quality of life. Although a single case study cannot be extrapolated to other studies, it shows yet again the complexity of the brain, emphasizing why it is paramount to research its functions. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain and we hope to see you next time.